Anna Kirk's speech, she has proven that cloning has developed and becoming more successful and can make and can save many lives and make a lot of people happy. Cloning can reverse heart attacks and successfully reconstructive and plastic surgery. To add on to Ayana's piece, I I have made two claims and four evidence to back it up. Cloning should be allowed because therapeutic cloning helps humans and animals when a certain part of their body is unstable, they make stem cells, replacing all negative cells in your body. Some evidence I found from the resources I use, which includes watching Bill Nye the Science Guy, Season 1, Episode 4, <laughs> and two websites called nrp.org and genome.gov, that there is some scientists had actually already tried therapeutic cloning on a rat who lost their back movement control and successfully helping that rat gain its back movement control back. They didn't make, they, they didn't, wait, but, da -da -da. Uh, back. They didn't make. They did. They did it by making stem cells. Now, therapeutic cloning isn't as confusing as it sounds. You take a fresh new nucleus, make it into an embryo, and insert it into a person slash animal's body. Another evidence I found is that some scientists, uh, some scientists explained that they weren't going to use therapeutic cloning to treat hearts, nor bring back the dead, which means they're not going to do any supernatural. Instead. Uh, instead, they're just going to make people feel better. Another evidence I've encountered is that oh, is it? Uh, this is important because you need to know what cloning is and able to have background knowledge. Uh, yeah. Another claim I've encountered is that cloning helps when they've lost some ev they've lost someone slash somebody. These two evidence I found is by doing research from two websites. <laughs> is learn.genetics.utah.edu and aMA.essn.org. Uh, the first evidence I found is that when you're first born, they ask your parents if they could have your DNA, uh, just, in ca just in case something happens to you. They, they're, uh, they're able to identify your problem and so they can give you, so they can give you stem cells to make you feel better. But if, but you only get new, but you only get new fresh stem cells. Now when something really terrible happens to you, how come you would, like almost dying, uh, your parents could have a choice to actually do something with that DNA that they've taken to you, have taken to you when you're first born and possibly make a clone. Um, the second evidence I found is that some, be some people believe that cloning shouldn't be allowed because you're making a new human being but how about if they? But how about if you're in a really bad position, like almost dying? Um, people don't understand that cloning is like an advanced new way of medicine and making people feel better, and could be the answer to what we've been looking for. It could cure cancer, ALS, and other sickness that isn't po that isn't possibly cured yet. This is important because I've gave you knowledge of what cloning is and how it could be helpful. To summarize my speech, I've proven that cloning should be allowed because therapeutic cloning helps humans and animals when a certain part of their body isn't stable, they make new stem cells, replacing all negative cells in your body. And cloning helps people when they have lost some, someone or somebody with, uh, with more than three evidence to prove my claims. It can help many people and animals, and scientists have proven that they should, that they have been progressing enough to for it to be for it to be illegal to be legal yeah